You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. All right, well, coming up, the trial of Lieutenant Brian Rice may soon come to... Yeah, a lawyer who's been observing the case weighs in and tells us what makes Rice's case different from all of the rest. 751 is your time. Closing arguments in the trial of Lieutenant Brian Rice are scheduled to begin tomorrow. He is the fourth officer to be tried in the death of Freddie Gray. Rice is charged with involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and misconduct. Kurt Nachman with Ian Lawyers has been observing the case with us. He's joining us this morning. Help us break it all down. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so is there anything new presented that you saw throughout this case that would make you feel that the outcome is going to be any different than the three non-conviction cases we've already seen? No, nothing. We haven't seen anything new. Um, they haven't shifted their theory. And in fact, their theory of the case is is changed such that previous theories were officers didn't belt Mr. Gray in and stops four and five. Now they're saying, well, you're a supervisor, you didn't belt him in at stop two. But then there's been evidence presented by the defense saying, well, there was a, a, a riot about to ensue. Mm -hmm. There was an unruly crowd in that area, and that's why they had to expedite out of that particular location. But then there was even a discussion that if, if because of the timing of when he died and when he got hurt, uh, it comes into it. And they were saying, well, if he didn't get hurt until, you know, one of the further down the line stops somewhere in there, that between the time that Rice put him in, then Porter came to check on him. And, you know, other people right. touched him and got involved and, and did things with him, put him on his back, and so have you. So then Rice would have been off the hook anyway. So absolutely, there's absolutely. so much th that has not been established, it seems. Absolutely. And I think, um, you know, Freddie Gray's uh, family's attorney, Billy Murphy, was on TV the other night, and he was commenting about how, you know, there are no cameras in the van. Um, and certainly, you know, that's something that's going to be remedied by the Baltimore Police Department. But there were no cameras in the van. And you just can't establish anything beyond a reasonable doubt. Right. We don't know what happened in that van. And you'll never know what happened in that van because no one was in there except Mr. Gray. One of the other interesting things was that the judge came out and dismissed the second degree assault charge after just a few days of testimony before the defense uh, picked right. up. And it, and it was interesting. He was saying you, the van itself cannot be your instrument of assault. You haven't proven that that was the case. No, and you know, that's the other sort of strange thing about the case is because originally their theory was that the assault occurred by the improper arrest and mm -hmm. that, that's all sort of disappeared. Um, you know, and you have to also wonder whether or not, um, you know, you, when you charge someone with a crime, you have to charge them specifically with a crime. In other words, if, if we were to have an altercation and we were to assault you here and then we had an altercation out in, in the parking lot later, those are two separate assaults. It's not mm -hmm. one assault, you know, here and then one assault out in the parking lot. It's two separate assaults. And so you have to wonder if the judge was also, you know, sort of saying, well, hey, wait a minute, you can't charge someone kind right. of with two right. different things and shift your theory. I mean, you have to charge with specificity under the Constitution. And, and whether it was the assault or the reckless endangerment or even the manslaughter that he is, is facing, you also have to prove that there was some intent behind it, that, that this was malicious, and that, that just seems to never have well, never proven. I mean, they don't, they don't have to prove specific intent. They have to prove a, a willful and gross disregard right. for Mr. Gray's safety, and they have to prove that they knew that what they were doing was going to create such a high level of danger. And I, I, it's such a high burden in a criminal court. I, I don't know how, especially based on the judge's prior rulings after hearing right. the evidence, I don't know how they're ever going to get to it. It's not a crime. It's a mistake, but Absolutely. not a crime. So. Absolutely. All right, so you think he'll, he'll get off? Not guilty. All right. Well, we'll see but fairly soon, I'm sure. Well, the